everyone, my name is Sarah from AS Cakes. First of all, let me welcome you to How It's Made. Yes, I would like to let you know that How It's Made is a program that is going to be teaching you how several things are made. For example, cooking, baking, clothing and textile, let's say fashion, hairstyling, makeup. Have you been confused on how several things are made? This is the program that you wouldn't want to miss to watch. So today, me, Sarah, I'm from AS Cakes, and behind the camera, we have Barnett Yuji. He is a good photographer and a videographer. So in case you need any of those services, you can let us know. So I still welcome you still to this show. And today, I'll be teaching you how to make fondant. Yeah, being a baker, I would like to first introduce you to making fondant. Because, I mean, who is not confused or worried of how they should, they should come up with fondant? So today I'm going to show you how it's made and that's fondant. As you do fondant icing, of course, you need materials and tools. So let's go. What we need, this is what we call glycerin. This is glycerin slab. And then we also have gelatin. On top of that, we have glucose slab. Then we have CMC. Then guess what? We also need water. Yes, it's in a nice cup. I mean by Uganda, build Uganda, so don't be worried about the nice cup. And then, obviously, we need icing sugar. And today we are using King Baker's icing sugar. So many of you are worried about how your icing sugar comes out. I mean, it's because you use the right ingredients or you use the wrong ingredients. So for this case, we are using King Baker's icing sugar. It is quite soft and smooth and give you a very stretchy fondant. So we are going to prove it today. We go to the tools. First and foremost, you need a mixing bowl. I mean, who, where would you mix it from? You need a mixing bowl. I've brought several of them, so it's up to you. You will see how I, you know, pray around with them. You need a sieve. Don't mind the handle, but it's a sieve, okay? Yeah. And then we also need spoons. We have tablespoons, and then we have a teaspoon. So meanwhile, I'm using the local easy ways of coming up with these things, not to be complex. And then we have a saucepan because we're going to do double heating method. And uh, I brought this alongside because if you have such a bowl at home, there's a way it is easy because heat passes through this very quickly and the handles being plastic, you don't access heat so much. So if you have this, you're good to go. But if you also have mixing bowls, you're still good to go. And then lastly, but not least, we need salt and peppers like this. So you may use poison papers or you may use cling film to wrap your fondant in it when it's done because you have to keep it safe at room temperature. Some of you keep fondant in ice, in fridges, eh? but don't do that. All right, that's what we all need. And next step, I'm going to show you or tell you the recipe for fondant. See you. So right after getting the right materials to use, the tools to use, the next step everything would, everyone would want to have is having the fondant recipe. So here we go. First and foremost, our first step is our gelatin. So we will need two tablespoons of gelatin. This is going to be a very simple, uh, small recipe for starters. Like, you know, you want a small fondant. You see, I'm using a tablespoon and we just want two tablespoons of gelatin. Yes. The next step, we are putting in our glucose syrup. We are also putting in two tablespoons of glucose syrup. It's sticky, so when you're working with it, you need to be very careful so that it doesn't get on your hands, on clothes, and all that. So we need two tablespoons of glucose syrup. Don't mind it being sticky. It still gives you the right product. So the next, we're going to put in water. We are using cold water and this water we are going to put in um, we are going to measure 30 tablespoons of water 30 tablespoons of water that's one two three four five six seven eight twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty so to take you back, we started with gelatin, two tablespoons, glucose, two tablespoons, and 30 tablespoons of water. You can use hot water, 
or you can use cold water it goes just okay so we are going to mix this um to explain to you more the reason why i used cold water is because i'm going to double heat so when you're going to double heat water really boils again and heats again so in case you're not going to double heat you can just put in hot water here and you mix if your gelatin is good it will quickly melt the key ingredient here that gives headache is the gelatin if it melts you're good to go if it doesn't melt then you please double heat so that everything can melt and you have all your ingredients together so uh, you can still let us know uh, comment and let us know how best you do fondant uh, you can send us your recipe because we need to share with the whole world how best we can go about this you know uh, knowledge is shared and uh, remember our this program is sponsored by discount shop chikubo it's located in chikubo downtown and uh, they sell a lot of baking ingredients baking tools baking accessories so if you need them we will link the telephone number down and you can reach them all right everyone remember you're still watching this is how it's made uganda so remember to subscribe like and share this is our channel i still have to remind you because this channel hmm, we're going to be teaching you or showing you how so many things are made right from baking cooking juices drinks and all types of things so this is how it's made stay tuned watch and learn so right from mixing our ingredients like we did we have the gelatin the glucose that under water this is how our mixture looks so we've been telling you about double heating and you're like what's double heating it's just this simple we have a big saucepan so you put in water halfway and then you place this inside and then you put on heat i'm going to show you how it's done i'm not leaving any stone unturned yeah so we double heat like this is a saucepan it has water we place this inside and we start mixing until the gelatin fully dissolves that's just how simple it is so we're going to show you how we do double heating on heat that's the next step and then we'll come back and finalize our fondant remember the best icing sugar to use is king baker's icing sugar i'll show you from the start you know after putting in water and the gelatin and the glucose it was so thick and uh, you know with those big 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 drops but now it's liquid form that's how it should be so to be okay or to be on the safe side that you're not putting in unnecessary ingredients in your fondant you see it okay and uh, so that you confirm you see it is so clean and there are no particles left behind so we put that behind or aside so now we come to our fondant mixture now the start is we are first going to, going to put in our icing sugar in two packets so we are putting in two packets for the start okay so we are putting in two packets that's the first packet and uh, the good thing with king baker's icing sugar it is soft you don't need to even sieve it the reason why people sieve is because they are scared maybe the icing sugar has particles maybe it is uh it is, it is having stones and stuff and then we are now putting in a teaspoon of cmc this is in powder form it will help your fondant to be 
soft and stretchy so we are going to first mix this one packet of icing sugar with one teaspoon of cmc first always putting uh, one packet at a go because it helps you to see how consistent how smooth your mixture is then we are dropping in the second packet of icing sugar remember the rule is to put in one packet at a go don't just pour in all the packets of icing sugar so now you can still keep 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 like you know uh, marking how many packets so far now this is the second packet of icing sugar this is how our mixture is we are putting in the third packet and we mix this icing sugar is just so nice okay so this is the third packet as you mix you keep making sure you go all the corners move around your mixing bowl so that you don't leave any mixing sugar unattended to that is the, the, the fourth the third packet we are putting in our fourth packet remember the rule is one packet at a go don't just pour in all your icing sugar you know yeah so this is how far we have gone as you mix you need to be lively because phone needs energy <laughs> yeah some of you think baking is easy and that's why sometimes when you order for cakes when you say fondant you need to add in money this is what it takes to make your fondant cakes you know yeah so it really takes a lot of time a lot of material most importantly it takes a lot of energy so when someone says oh, for the fondant cake add in some money add in okay add in yeah so let's go now eh? this is where the tribe you're born from dictates hmm? you must have that strong genes, eh? the strong genes in you to need this to be what you want. So there's one ingredient that we have not put in. We haven't put in glycerin. It is still behind. So it's coming. This is the only ingredient remaining behind. And uh, when you get, when, uh, when they become stiff, eh? you need to keep marking. When they become this stiff, don't pour in a whole packet of icing sugar. Rather put now the whole packet you can put in like you know small bits at a go because now you're reaching at a stage where you want and you wouldn't want them to be so stiff yeah so glycerin comes last it's what makes all this combined together okay here we need energy hey 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 before you joke with fondant don't joke with fondant if you haven't eaten lunch don't need fondant. Right, Esther? <laughs> She's just there looking at me and like, I won't do that. You'll do it, my dear. Okay? This is how steep it is. So at this point, guess what? We put in our glycine. And we're putting in one handful. It doesn't matter whether your hand is big or small. I'm saying one handful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like this. That's enough. So some of you are going to be like, we need the measurements, what? Put in one handful, you're good to go. Yeah. So, after putting in your handful of glycerin, the magic starts happening. Okay? This is how far it has gone. Before even I go far, you see the stretchiness? Oh God. Hey. Now at this point you go on the table. Put a little icing sugar on the table. Okay. Clear the table. Spread it very well. Put the glycerin aside. And put on the table. The trick is, if you want to remove this on your hand, eh? <laughs> you use icing sugar to rub icing sugar. It's that simple. Some of you hustle with spoons. Mm -mm. You don't need to do that. Just use icing sugar to rub icing sugar from your hands. See? That's simple. 
these are some of the kitchen tips that you get to know when you're watching how it's made hey okay so at this point we want less addition of icing sugar until we get to know it has reached where we are and as you can see my phone that is so white so white so smooth so white and combines very quickly and very easily and that happens when you're using king baker's icing sugar it's number one icing sugar in uganda it's the best i mean who doesn't use this hmm? so it's still soft you need to mark the stages at this point it's just you know tearing like posho so we don't want this stage so the more you add in icing sugar the more you need the more stretchy it becomes and when we are kneading we are using our palms to knead don't knead like this <laughs> someone some of you will be kneading like this no you need with your palms just roll it and place roll it place roll it and knead with some energy and then remember it dries quickly so what you need to do is much as you're putting in energy you are fast because you wouldn't want your phone to dry in your hands reason is some of you say my phone that brings an elephant skin when i'm laying it on cake yes it's because you took long time uh, needing it you left it to you know um, have some through some life you know when you leave it outside the sugar starts absorbing moisture from the atmosphere so you need to fight that so you, what you need to do is knead very fast much as you're putting in energy you're kneading very fast and make sure that you sweat okay yeah <laughs> make sure that you sweat because if you don't sweat eh, we will not believe that you have done for that yeah. so traditionally people from western uganda used to do kalo and this is how we would do it <laughs> we'll be doing this as if it is kalo so if you've ever made millet flour using a grinding stone eh? this, is a, this is the energy i mean this is the energy you need to put in make sure everything is fine are you seeing how smooth it's becoming just right from the table you look at that just look at that that's the best icing sugar i'm telling you and of course the best for that recipe hmm? <laughs> yeah so our phone is just getting there this process you're not supposed to exceed 15 minutes on it as in what are you needing hmm? yeah so remember one thing that all these baking ingredients we picked them from discount shop chipuro they have the best affordable baking ingredients you need to go there and check them out hmm? yeah let's need let's need the munange so that you guys can see how smooth our fondant is how stretchy it is how soft it is and how white it is yeah okay we are getting there so it gets at a point where it no longer really really sticks on the table really really sticks in your hands and i want to show you how you can know that it's really really ready i'm gonna show you Look at that for that. Look at that. Look how soft it is. That's our fondant. And how to know it's ready? Watch me. You do this. You pull and must give you a peek. That's what the perfect, well needed fondant does. Oh, that's how it should do, if I may say. So ladies and gentlemen that's our fondant perfect smooth you can see how smooth it is and how stretchy it is 
and when you pull it, the best phone that should give you a peek at the end. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for following us. You are still watching How It's Made Uganda. Remember, it's going to be it's an educative platform where we are showing you how different things are made. For example, baking, cooking, drinks, and every other business that you'd like to know how it's made. Thank you so much for watching. All right, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Remain Sala AS from AS Cakes, and behind the camera is Bane Chiji. Remember, you're watching how it's made. This platform, we are going to be showing you how different things are made, and that reads or answers your question of how things are made. Thank you so much. Behind the camera, we have Bane Chiji, he's the best photographer and the best videographer. He works on all types of functions, be it birthday, weddings, or any other corporate event. Thank you so much and God bless you.